Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll demonstrating how to create a straightforward calculator in C Sharp. This calculator will be able to calculate the total based on the provided expression or equation, like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. Another, 4 times 5 plus 2 equals 22. By the way, this video is a continuation of my previous video about how to create a calculator in C Sharp Windows form application. Someone commented there, let's read it. What if I put more than two numbers in the text box, like 3 plus 4 plus 3? I think your code only works for two numbers only. The answer is, yes, what I did there was just a simple calculator that can only add two numbers. Let me show you. This is the calculator that I created in my previous video. As you can see, it is working fine. 10 plus 50 equals 60. But we cannot input more than two numbers. Don't worry, in this video I will show you how I updated my C sharp codes from my previous video tutorial to accept more than two numbers, as I showed you at the beginning of this video. So make sure you finish watching this video so you don't miss anything. But before we start, Welcome to Kadev Tips, your ultimate destination for programming tutorials and all things code related. If you're passionate about learning to code or improving your programming skills, you're in the right place. But before we dive into today's programming tutorial, I'd like to invite you to become a part of our growing community. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of programming knowledge and stay updated with the latest tutorials we release. So, go ahead and subscribe now, and let's get coding. As I mentioned earlier, this is just an update of my previous video, so if you haven't watched it yet, please do so before finishing this video. I will put the link in the description below so you can redirect to that video, or you can search it on YouTube with this title, How to Create a Calculator in C Sharp Windows Form Application. Let's begin. First, navigate to the code behind the plus button. Comment out the existing code. Next, go to the code behind the number 1 button, copy the code, and paste it into the plus button. You can simply comment out the existing code or delete it, it's up to you. Repeat the same process for the minus, times, and divide buttons. Now, let's try to run our program. As you can see, we can now input more than two numbers. But we're not done yet, we need to adjust the code behind the equals button first. Navigate to the code behind the equals button. Comment out the existing code. Then, follow and copy this code.
Now that we're done, let's run the program again. Let's input 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. Next, 4 times 5 plus 2 equals 22. Next, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. Please take note that the computation of our created calculator will follow the MDOS rule in mathematics. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay updated on the videos I upload. Thank you, and good luck. See you in my next video.